Every two pieces of Alex Luminaries are packed with an adorable carton box. By opening the carton box, the electrical contractor has access to the operations manual and the installation instructions sheet where the various installation steps are illustrated in a pictorial form for easy comprehension. Between the two luminaries, there is a separate carton sheet bearing on its surface a set of mounting components for both luminaries. Once the two luminaries and the separate carton sheet are taken out of the carton box, the reflectors are moved from the luminaries and stored back into the empty carton within their protective bags. Inside the small plastic bags for installation components, there are suspension clamps that are fixed on the T-bar ceiling through the use of caddy clips to be provided by other. Each suspension clamp passes from the stud of the caddy clip and then is secured by the caddy clip's wing nut. Each luminary needs two suspension clamps for its fixing. The suspension clamp hooks are buttoned up on the oblong ribs of the back side of the luminary's housing so as to support the complete luminary. The fixing of the luminary is then secured with a tightening of the suspension clamp screws. The same installation steps are followed for the second luminary during continuous row mounting. The only difference is the suspension clamp screws which do not need to be tightened up in order to allow the second luminary to slide apart from the first one. Special attention should be placed on the plug and socket connectors of the wiring harness which should face one another so as to make the connection and then to slide the second luminary toward the first one until their end panels are joined. In this position, the tightening brackets slide into the special spots of the joined end panels. Each end panel bears a factory pre-installed locking screw which is tightened by holding steadily the end plate of the luminary to be connected. After the joining of the two luminaries, the suspension clamp screws of the second luminary are also tightened up. Following the luminary's mounting, the lamps and reflectors can be placed in their proper position. The lamp is inserted into the reflector by freely passing through the louvers, and the complete lamp and reflector system is fitted into the luminary by holding the lamp and not the reflector. The lamp pins are first inserted into the end panel guiding channels, and then the edge of the reflector setting tab is pushed into the slot of the end panel to secure the reflector. The reflectors, once fitted into place, can rotate in relation to the oblong axis of the fluorescent lamp. This rotation can either be inwards or outwards and up to 16 degrees, directing the light beam as needed. The individual reflector for each lamp provides the choice of focusing the light beam to the desired direction through an independent rotation possibility. The end user can choose between a variety of different light beams, narrow or wide, as well as symmetrical or asymmetrical. The seven main combinations are symmetrical lower beam, symmetrical narrow beam, symmetrical wide beam, asymmetrical left beam, asymmetrical right beam, 
Asymmetrical lower left beam. Asymmetrical lower right beam. Upon completion of continuous row mounting, a decorative end panel should be placed at the beginning and end of row luminaries. This decorative end panel is secured by a screw. For the detachment of an interim luminary from a continuous row mounting, the cover of the wireway compartment should first be removed. Same applies for the metallic cover of the two luminaries placed on either side. The tightening brackets fitted on the joined end panels are then removed from the right and left side of the luminary to be detached. The end panel joint screws are then unscrewed in both sides of the luminary. The suspension clamp screws of the luminary to be detached are untightened and the complete luminary is detached from the suspension clamp so as to be removed. For the reattachment of the same luminary or its replacement with a new luminary, the reverse procedure should take place. <laughs> 